For these types of problems, you have to write the value in word form. So let's look at the directions. Write the value, and remember the value is the amount a digit or number is actually worth, in word form. And word form is a way to write a number using only words and no math symbols. To write a number in word form, you have to also be able to say the number correctly. So you can remember this little rhyme to help you understand how to read words. It goes like this. No number's too hard to read when you think about them in groups of three. No number's too hard to read when you think about them in groups of three. Thousands, millions, billions. And let me show you how knowing this rhyme can help you write a number. So let's think about a number. Um, we'll make a big number. So this rhyme says, no number's too hard to read when you think about them in groups of three. So instead of thinking about the whole number, let's think about them in groups of three. So we'll think about this group of three, this group of three, and this isn't quite three, so we'll think about that as a group of two. So when we look at this number, we know that's 273. This number is 321. This number is 27. So when you think about these numbers, only think about them in these groups of threes that the commas separate. Speaking of commas, here we see this comma and it says thousands, millions, billions. That's because when you see the first comma, that represents thousands. The second comma would represent millions. You can even make a little M and a little T under the comma to help you read the word like I did. So now all you have to do is think about the group of three and then say the comma word. So this is 27 million, 321, thousand, 273. And that's how you say the number. And if you say the number that way, when we talk about word form, you just write those words that make that number. So if I were going to write those words that make the number, I would start with 27. So I would just write the words to make 27. And now where I see the comma, I'm gonna write the comma word. So this one was million. 27 million. Now this period is 321,000. So then I would write the words 321, and now the comma word thousand. Okay, I'm going to make it write a comma just to separate my last period, and this period is 273. So I'm just going to write that in words. 273. So when you write word form, you first have to be able to say it correctly, and then what you say is what you write. So remember, no number's too hard to read when you think about them in groups of three, thousands, millions, billions. So let's look at some examples now, and we'll look at example one. So the first thing we need to do is be able to read the number correctly. So I'm going to circle the groups of three to just help me read them correctly. And remember my comma words are thousands, millions, billions. So the first comma is gonna be thousands. This is going to help me write the number in word form because I only have to think about them in the groups of three. So the first group of three is 978. So when I go to write, I'm just going to write what I said. Nine hundred seventy eight. And now I have to write the comma word to show what period we're in. So this is 978,000. Okay, I'm going to put a comma to separate my next period. So this one is said 346. So I'm going to write 
three hundred forty six and that's it. Okay, I'm going to skip down to number four since it has a zero in one of the place values and show you how this would work. So again, when I write it in word form, I need to be able to say it correctly first. So I'm going to circle my periods because no number's too hard to read when you think about them in groups of three. And this comma would be thousands. All right, so now when I go to write it in word form, I'm going to look at my first period, 440. We don't have to let that zero trick us up because when you see these three digits, you know that's 440. So that's what you're going to write. 440. Now we're going to write our comma word, thousand. 440. Thousand. Okay, I'm going to put a comma just to separate and go on to my next period. These three digits are 543. So I'm just going to write those as words. 543. And that's it. We're done. So you go ahead and practice the rest of them yourself. And if you need a little bit more help, just go back and rewatch this video. Good luck.